Andrea Vall, and I'm the co-author of Facebook Marketing All-in-One for Dummies, and this is Facebook Fridays on eMarketing Vids. Today, I'm going to talk to you about four Facebook applications that can help you spruce up your Facebook page. They can also help make your life easier by automating some things, and we want easier, right? We don't want to make it hard. So the first application I'm going to talk about is Network Blogs. You can find Network Blogs by just searching on Network Blogs in the Facebook search bar. Then you can add it to your page. You can also add it to your personal profile. And what, Facebook, what Network Blogs does is it automatically posts your latest blog post to your wall. And it brings in a really nice blurb, uh, the first like paragraph of your blog post, and if you have any photo in the blog post, it brings that in as well. Or it also it shows a screenshot of your blog as it looks online. So it brings it in a really nice format automatically. Then the other thing it does is it adds a tab to your sidebar on your Facebook page, a uh, titled blog of all your latest blog posts, all your most recent blog posts, so people can easily reference those later, right from within Facebook. You can also do some reposting very easily with network blogs, and it's just a really nice way to automate some of the things so you don't have to worry about it. Now, there's one thing you do have to be a little bit concerned about is that your posts may not be quite as visible with network blogs as it would be as if you, if you posted it manually. Now, that's a problem with any sort of automation. Sometimes Facebook kind of collapses those posts, so they're not quite as visible in people's news feeds. So you do have to weigh that with the fact that you're automating and making it a little bit easier and it's one less thing to think about. So I still get plenty of, um, plenty of people commenting on my network blog posts and, and viewing it from network blogs, so I have decided to keep my network blogs automatically coming in. Um, the next application that I really like is for YouTube. Now, there's a lot of different Facebook applications out there for YouTube. My favorite one is done by Involver, and you can find it at involver.com, and they have several uh, Facebook applications that are really nice, so take a look at all of those there, but YouTube is a great one. If you have a YouTube channel, I would recommend using Involver's YouTube uh, application. So it brings in a YouTube uh, tab on the side, again, where it has your most recent YouTube video large, and then it has um, several of the, of the uh, more recent ones below that. So people can take a look at your YouTube uh, videos right from there. It doesn't automatically post your YouTube uh, video if you have it um, put up on, on, you, on your channel but it makes it very easy to post it right from that application and it's a nice reference area too for your, for your YouTube videos. So that's at Involver.com. The third Facebook application that I really like is for Facebook contests. So if you want to have a little fun on your Facebook page, engage your audience in a different way, a contest is a great way to do it. And uh, there are lots of different Facebook contests applications out there. You do have to run a Facebook contest with an application on a different part of your uh, Facebook page. You can't run it on the wall where you tell people to post or like your page or anything like that on the wall of your, of your Facebook page. You have to run it through a third party application or one you develop yourself. So there's a lot of, like I said, Facebook uh, contest applications out there. My favorite one is with Wildfire. You can find it at wildfireapp.com and it's not expensive to use. They, um, you can run like a, a one week sweepstakes for around $50. They also have uh, photo and video contest applications that you can use, and it's very easy to set up and install on your page. They've got great tutorials, and it's a really fun way to do something special for your Facebook community. So again, that's at wildfireapp.com, and they also do have a, a few other Facebook applications that are really nice too, so check those out as well. The fourth Facebook application is uh, for creating a custom page. 
like you might want, you may have seen some of these pages out here, there are welcome pages where someone has a page that kind of tells you to like them or, or gives you kind of something fun uh, when you land on their page initially that tells, them, tells you a little bit about them or something like that. And those are created with iframes. Now, that sounds kind of scary because people, some people are like, well, I can't program an iframe. Luckily, there are a lot of Facebook applications out there that are easy to use and do an iframe for you. And all you need is something like a, a graphic. You could use just a straight graphic that says click like and maybe a little bit more information about you and your page and what you offer there. You can do all kinds of fun things like using a reveal tab where click like for a special gift and then when they click like a different image pops up. So there's lots of fun things you can do with it um, and lots of great iframe applications out there. I really like North Social's iframe application as something that's very easy to use. You can find them at northsocial.com and again they also have several iframe applications out there or uh, so several other Facebook applications out there that you can also use and check out too. So if you want to create something custom and something special for your audience, check out northsocial.com. So that's it. Those are four applications that can spruce up your Facebook page, make your life easier, and kind of customize your page a little and make it a little bit different. So hope that helped. This is Andrea Vall with Facebook Fridays. Yeah.